wing is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam, 3rd Canto, 26th Chapter, Text Number 27, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on January 4th, 1975, in Bombay, India. From the false ego of goodness, another transformation takes place. From this evolves the mind whose thoughts and reflections give rise to desire. <coughs> so, this mind is material because it is the product of uh, transformation of the modes of goodness. Then, gradually, being contaminated by different kinds of material diseases, it becomes degraded. When it is deteriorated, then from the standard of goodness it comes to rajaguna. And rajaguna means uh, lusty desires, <coughs> unended desires. Then if desires are not fulfilled, then there is krodha. <coughs> and uh, <coughs> in this way, kam, krodh, lop, moh, matrajya, everything becomes very prominent <coughs> and we become servant of these propensities, kam, krodh, moh, matrajya, madha. Lobha. This is Kali Lucha. Gradually degraded mind. And the business of the mind is Sankalpa and Vikalpa. Sankalpa means decide to do something, and Vikalpa means again to reject it. That is the business of mind. Everyone desires the peacefulness of mind, but uh, the material mind, the nature is sankalpa and vikalpa, restlessness. He cannot fix us. <coughs> so if you can control the senses by the yogic, mystic yogic process, this uh, mechanical endeavor, how to control the mind, then you can again be uh, placed in the original spiritual status. That is the yoga system. The yoga system is recommended <coughs> to persons whose mind is very restless. Everyone's mind is restless. Not a particular man mind is restless. Everyone. But uh, it is very difficult also to bring the mind into peaceful status. <coughs> so long the desires are there. It is not possible to bring the mind in complete peace and tranquility. It is not possible. No. Because the saṅkalpa vikalpa <coughs> bhaktati kama sambhava. So long there is desire, so it is not possible to bring the mind under control. <coughs> Therefore Chaitanya Chaitamrita says, Kaviraj Goswami, that even the uh, pious actors, those who are acting <coughs> very piously, 
those who are acting impiously, sinfully, there is no question of peace of the mind. That is not possible. Even those who are acting very piously, that is also not possible. You cannot control even the mind in that way. Then uh, those who are desiring to stop these material activities completely, pious and impious, uh, they also cannot control the mind. Uh, and then the yogis, the first group who are interested in pious activities, they are karmis. And those who are neither interested in past activities or in past activities, they want to stop all kinds of activities, just like the Buddha philosophy says, nirvana. Uh, stop the activities of the mind or desires. <coughs> On that status also it is not possible to control the mind. Meditation. And uh, mukti kāmi, and then siddhi kāmi, the yogis, they also cannot control the mind. What to speak of ordinary man, who are neither interested in past activities or in mukti, or yogic perfection. So when Krishna advised Ujjum to practice yoga for controlling the mind in the sixth chapter of the Bhagavad Gita, Arjun refused. Arjun said, My dear Krishna, you are advising me to control the mind by practicing yoga, but I have no such opportunity because I am a family man. I am also a politician, royal family. I have to see things, administration of the kingdom. Uh, and besides that, uh, in family life, I have to seek for my material interest. So how it is possible for me to control the mind? So he flatly said, Chanchalati mana krishna pramati balavad dhiram tasyaham nidraham manne vayureva sudhuska. My dear Krishna, I think the mind is very, very restless. Chanchala mana krishna. Pramātya, as mad man, as mad man is always restless. Huh? <coughs> I'm very strong. I want to control the mind, but that does not come under control. So this is the position. Therefore, you are asking me to control the mind. Tasa aham nigraham manne bhāyurī I think, it is more difficult than controlling the wind. Suppose there is very uh, strong wind, and if you want to stop it, it is not possible. Uh, <coughs> there is cyclone. Similarly, Arjuna has compared the mind with the speed of cyclone, how it is to be controlled. So completely denied. But Krishna said, just to encourage our John, that he should not be disappointed because he could not control the mind. But still, because his mind was always engaged in the lotus feet of Krishna, he is the best of all the yogis. Yogi nāmapi sarmi madhvata antarātmana suddhyāmāna bhajati jūmāna sami yukta tamo. He encouraged Arjuna, they don't be disappointed, 
because your mind is always engaged in me. Arjuna might be anything, but he was always thinking of Krishna. He was always associating with Krishna. He did not know anything else Krishna. That is the position of first-class yogi. Otherwise, if you try to control the mind, uh, from calm, close, low, moho, mahasvajya, there is not possible. Uh, you have to change the position of such activities. Narakam das thakur, here it is said that kama sambhava, kama, kama means desire. So mind is restless, all is designed. Designed. So the best policy to control the mind is to desire how to spread Krishna consciousness. This is the best. Kama Krishna Parmarpane, Narakam Das Thakur has said, that you cannot be free from desire. That is not possible. This is useless. They say that you become desireless. No, that is not possible. How can I? If I become desireless, I become dead. Uh, so long I am living entity, I must desire. I cannot check it. Uh, therefore, kama means desire. So at the present moment we are desiring how to become happy in this material world, how to acquire so much money, how to acquire this, how to acquire this, how to get this, how to get that. This is karma. So this brain taxation, if you engage in Krishna's service, how to spread Krishna consciousness, how to convince people about Krishna, how to take them to the Krishna's uh, desire, sarva paritta then in this way, if you go on making plan for spreading Krishna consciousness, then your mind is controlled. You cannot stop desire. That is not possible. The kama, sambhava, saṅkalpa vikalpa bhyam, vartate kama sambhava. This is the mind position. I am desiring something, and if it is not very palatable, then I reject it. I accept another desire. This is. You cannot keep the mind vacant even for a single moment. Nobody has got this experience. The mind is vacant. If by force you are trying to do that, it is simply uh, laboring. It is not possible. Uh, just like to concentrate one's mind in the vacants. Kesa uh, adhikatara stesaṁ Impersonal, and boy, if you want to engage your mind in the impersonality or uh, voidness or variegatedness, it is simply uh, very, very difficult. <coughs> the best easy way of controlling the mind, uh, because Krishna has said that yogi-nāma-pi sarvesāṁ madhvata antarātmāna antarātmāna sadhyāvāṁ bhajati jo maṁ. This is the way. Anyone who is making plan, the plan-making, kāma-saṁ-kāma-saṁ-bhava means plan-making. You see the whole world, the big, big politicians in our government, central government, there is a planning commission. Perhaps everyone of you know it, planning commission. From, for the last twenty years, they are making simply plans, and no plan has become successful. Every plan is Unsuccessful and the result is eight rupees kilo rice. Uh, 
we have stepped into. The plan has come successfully to bring rice eight rupees per kilo. <coughs> that is not possible. So long the uh, you are materially affected and making plan how to get out of it. The material nature is so strong that it will battle all your plans. And therefore you have to remain perpetually restless. One plan you make and it is baffled by the material nature. Stringent laws of nature. And at last, making plan, making plan, making plan, and one day uh, the time comes and immediately orders, please better your presidency, your prime ministership. Although I am trying to make plans, successful plans, up to the point of death, uh, prayanta, prayanta, asuric plan, up to the end of life. Uh, and then he entrusts. He says, My dear son, my dear daughter, I could not fulfill this plan, so you do it. Uh, now I hand it over to you. And the son also going on making plan, 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 uh, it will never be fulfilled. So that is the verdict of the śāstra. Durāsaya je bahiratta māni. Durāsaya. It is impossible. Uh, therefore this saṅkalpa vikalpa, accepting some plan and rejecting again, this is going on perpetually. It is never fulfilled. Neither it will be fulfilled at any time. And for making this plan, saṅkalpa vikalpa, perpetually, I am giving up one kind of body, I am accepting another body, I am giving of the residence of one planet, I am going to the heaven, heavenly planet. Uddhanga chanti sattva sva madhe tishthanti rajasa jagannā gunavittinta sva abhoga chanti tahamasa. Plan in the most of goodness, in passion, in ignorance, uh, so different plans, different kinds of body, different residential quarter in different planets, different we have got experience even in Bombay. If one body is living here in Bombay for fifty years, how many plans he has had made and how many apartments he has changed, and he still the plan making business he is going on. Everyone has got this experience. It is not very difficult. So as it is going on in this life, in this plan of life, similarly it is going on life after life, this plan making business. So the intelligent person, they should understand uh, yeah, how to stop this unlimited plan making business, still there is no solution. Uh, that is called athātha brahma jīgyāsā. That is life. Athātha brahma jīgyāsā. When one is inquisitive to know the broader plan, brahma plan, brahma means the biggest, brihaktyā, the biggest, the biggest plan. If <coughs> anyone wants to understand, becomes inquisitive, then his life, real life begins. So where from Brahma Jignasa? Ah. Brahma Jignasa, this is the ordinary Jignasa inquiry. What is the price of rice today or what is the situation of strike, what is the situation of this? That we can ask from the newspaper or from anyone friend. But so far, Brahma Vijnasa, inquiry of Brahma, then where shall you inquire? Will you go to the exchange market or in the other market? No. Tad Vijnana Artham sa Guru Meva Avijachit. Sa Guru Meva Avijachit. 
But that is the intention of the Vedas. That you must find out, Guru. Samitpani Sutriam Brahmanistham. Guru means Brahmanistham. Brahmanistham, that is the Guru's qualification. And Sutriam, one who has heard from the disciple succession. He is Guru. Not anyone. Magician. No. Guru as Krishna says, Krishna is the original Guru. He is Brahma's Guru. Then uh, who can be better Guru than Krishna? Tene Brahma Rida Adi Kavaya. He instructed Brahma. Brahma instructed Narad. And Narad instructed Bhagavad. And Bhagavad was given us so many literatures. This is called Parampara system. Vedabhyas. Bhagavad has given us four Vedas, Sanjayuri, Akadma. Then explain them in the hundred and eight Puranas. Then again he has summarized them in Vedanta Sutra. Then again he has explained the Vedanta Sutra by Srimadha Bhagavatam. Uh, Brahma Sutra Bhasaya. Uh, then in every chapter of Srimadha Bhagavatam you will find this a statement by Vyasa, Brahma Sutra Bhasya. Brahma Sutra Bhasya is not that Sankar's Bhasya, Sarira Bhasya. Uh, that is artificial. Here the Brahma Sutra Bhasya. Brahma Sutra is written by Vyasa. And because he knew that in future so many rascals we misinterpret this Brahma Sutra, Therefore, he uh, compiled personally the Bhāsva Brahma Sutra, that is Srimad Bhāgavat. Bhāsva Brahma Sutra, nā, the rātha paribhīnitam, the meaning of the Vedas is completely described and it is the original comment uh, on Brahma Sutra. Therefore, you see, Srimadha Bhagavatam begins from the words of Brahma Sutra. Jivasya Tattva Jijnasa, uh, as it is said in the Brahma Sutra, Athatu Brahma Jijnasa, the Bhagavad says, the Jivasya Tattva Jijnasa, the living entity's only business is to inquire about the Absolute Truth. No justice or karma, be no other business. Dharma uh, <coughs> kamo mukha. So dharma. Generally, people think that becoming religious, we shall be uh, economically devout. Dharma artha, we shall get artha. We shall be. And that is automatically it comes if you are actually following the religious principle, or so will come. There is no doubt. Uh, and but we do not know what is dharma. That is the difficulty. That you have to learn from Krishna, Athata Brahmajiga, from the Guru. And what Guru says, Krishna says, Sarvadhanman Paritta Jamami Kam Sarana. This is Dharma. Uh, Anything else, the result cheating. Dharma prodhita koitava atra. Koitava. Koitava means cheating. And Siddhar Sami says this mokha is also another cheating. Mokha is another. I shall make me void. I shall finish my existence, individual existence. I shall march into the existence of the Absolute. This conception, mukha, mukti, is also commented by uh, Siddhar Thami. This is another cheating, another cheating. Because there cannot be moksha. You cannot become one with the Supreme. How it can be? As it is said in the Bhagavad Gita, Mamayi Vamsa Jiva Bhuta Jiva Loki Sanatana. Sanatana. 
you are part and parcel of the Supreme. How you can become one? So this kind of attempt is also cheating. You cannot become one. Because eternally, sanatan, eternally you are different. Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita that myself, my dear Rajyo, yourself, and all the soldiers and kings who have assembled in this battlefield, they were the same individual in the past, and they are individual now, and they will continue to remain individual. So where well, there is oneness. In the past, present, future, the individuality is there. So it is a concoction to face the individuality. It is called spiritual suicide. Just like if a man becomes disappointed and he uh, cuts his own throat or hangs him somewhere or other, eats some poison to finish, does it mean that he is finished? He is a rascal. He does not know. By finishing this body he is finished. No, that is not possible. The result is because he violated the rules of nature, he becomes a ghost. That is his life. One who commits suicide, he becomes a ghost. Ghost means he does not get this material body. He remains in the subtle body, mind, intelligence, Therefore ghost can go because he is in the mind. Mind speed is very strong. <coughs> if you have got this material body, you cannot go immediately hundred miles off. But if you are in the mental body, you can go immediately. Thousand miles, immediately, within a second. So the ghost, they can play something wonderful because... But they are not happy because they have no gross body. They want to enjoy. His material is, he has committed suicide for some material want. So he is in want of material desire, fulfilling material desire. He could not fulfill in this body, therefore commit suicide. But the desire is there. The desire is there. And he cannot fulfill it, he becomes perplexed. Therefore the ghosts create disturbance sometimes. So in this way, uh, desires cannot be uh, finished. That is not possible. Kama sambhava. It is not possible. Uh, therefore the best thing is to fix up your mind in Krishna, uh, in Krishna consciousness. Then you will be happy. Thank you very much.